All right now, uh, lots of new movies coming out, including one popular horror franchise and a new thriller from Morgan Freeman. Ashley Dvorkin has a preview. Check this out. The Scream franchise is taking a slice out of the Big Apple with part six. Scream 6 moves from Woodsboro to another borough, Manhattan, where survivors of the Ghostface murders find themselves in another fight for their lives. We've crash landed on an uncharted celestial body. Adam Driver leads the action-packed sci-fi flick 65 as a pilot stranded on a planet which turns out to be Earth 65 million years ago. Along with another survivor, they trek across unknown terrain filled with prehistoric creatures for their one chance at a rescue. <laughs> Woody Harrelson leads Champions, about a former minor league basketball coach who receives a court order to manage a team of players with intellectual disabilities trying to make it to the Special Olympics. Here I take the power. Here I become the power. In theaters and on demand is The Ritual Killer with Cole Hauser and Morgan Freeman. The thriller is about a detective grieving the loss of his daughter who teams up with an anthropologist with secrets to hunt down a serial killer. Something's coming. On streaming, Idris Elba is back as Detective John Luther in the movie sequel Luther the Fallen Son, with Luther breaking out of prison when a serial killer terrorizes London. Something is going on with you. Audiences can also still check out Creed 3, which brings Apollo Creed back in the ring to face a former friend in a story which is now the number one champ at the box office. In Hollywood, Ashley Dvorkin, Fox News. Yeah, Creed is still the one to beat at the box office, and I think it's going to last a, a little bit of time. The biggest movie out this weekend is Scream, though, and I'm not, I don't know how many fans are going to come to this franchise movie, but if it's like the past, I, it might beat Creed. Do you feel like everybody is a critic these days? Yes. <laughs> of me. I didn't get to explain. They're a critic of me because. Oh, no, of you? <laughs> because when I said I gave Creed a yeah. C, even you were like, what? Well, what? I'm like, it's a passing grade. It's a passing grade. Okay. But I, I still, I, gave I you a stand by example it. Example where you didn't want to be rated a C and you agreed. Right. Okay. So right. it's. It's a passing grade, but it ain't great. And that's how I feel about the movie. And, yep. <laughs> I'm going to see it, and then I will. I mean, I but I always agree with you after I see it, so. Good, 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 we'll good. See. There it is, Luther the Fallen Son. That's on Netflix right now. It was in theaters for a few weeks, and it came out on Netflix. I think the series, Luther, <laughs> that first ran on the BBC, is actually better than this movie. I think this movie is perfect for Netflix, though. I wouldn't pay and go to the theater to see it. Is this a continuation of the series or just the series reintroduced as a movie? It's, you know it's what I mean? the series reintroduced okay. as the movie because it's a whole different case for them. So you don't so need to I go don't back need and watch. To go back. There are cool. a couple of things from the series that are here, yeah. but uh, you wouldn't. You would, don't need to know that to watch the movie. Cool. What's okay. Ritual about? What's, what's Ritual about is what I'm asking as well. What's Ritual? Can we see the video? Take the power. Oh, I've become the power. Oh, this is this Morgan Freeman low budget film that's also out this weekend. Uh, I don't honestly don't know much about this movie. Uh, it's one that I did not put on radar, did not see. And Here, I've seen it. I Are you regretting it now? Because no, any no. Oh. you know how I feel about horror movies and uh. Yeah. You don't like horror movies? I didn't know this. Maybe I forgot. You didn't know? No, I'm not a big fan of horror movies or these like horror thrillers because as soon as they run and fall down, I'm out. But Scream 6 didn't do that. Scream 6 did not do that. And because of that, I loved it because it goes on in a non-predictable way. Do you feel like any time you hear Morgan Freeman's voice, it's just gonna be good? Or is that them tricking us to go see it because it's Morgan Freeman? Yes, no, I've seen enough Morgan Freeman movies in the B category to where I understand now that he's just making movies. Ooh. Love them though. Share your thoughts or comments. Hashtag the new. We'll be right back.